You can sometimes you just gotta look at these in a different way. There are also ten worlds, I think. Because I noticed that one's uh, also a world. Similarly. Woo! So many. Level um, uh, one. Panels. Got a really squished puzzle here. So I think we just have to do something like this. But in a way so that we can let's leave that. <laughs> yeah, we basically don't want that. That's bad too. We want to step like this board in a place where we can get it to this button. Because this one can't leave this low down here, right? Even if we move it, it will stay here forever. It can't. So we have to basically detach the ball in most likely this spot, making a move like this and that. But that won't work because if we do that, you'll see that. Uh, so we make a move like that, you'll see we separate it here, right? But now we can't get that ball. Because if we want to do it like that, we'd have to push it there so we can push it down. But this button will kill the ball. So if we push that to the side, uh, then we can get it down to this low and push it there. Because if we did it, if we, if we push the box, then we would die there. So that's why I had. To that's why we had to uh, make that first move nice and simple. Uh, 36, safety. So here we got two balls, but we need to come in here without a ball so we can get back out again. We also have this box. Which can let us get a little of a ball. But only once. This one also, this button also needs to have something on it by the end of the level. I feel like what we have to do is move this one down before we even start. Right. Then come on around here. Break our shackle. Title card. But then we have the problem with this ball up here. Because I was going to suggest we come out here. And then we come back. But we need this one to be there anyway. Right, because our problem currently is that we basically... We can come around here without a train. But then we can't get into here without taking one of these balls. Right. Having both the balls here would mean that, say we were in this position, we could move into here without collecting another one. Which is why I was initially suggesting we sort of just move this one to the side for a bit. We can only get rid of our ball once, as we've established by this area up here. Sorry to me. Right. And now it doesn't even matter if we move it, because this ball will just attach to us. So we need the second ball to be here, in a nutshell. Alright. Just like that. But, we need our chain to be up there. Oh god. We could put it, like, there as well. So now... Now we don't attach to any of them. And now we need to send one of these down. Doesn't matter if we get a ball now, we've already done the box, and that is puzzle solved. Stage, <laughs> we've unlocked the next world already. I feel like they didn't have high expectations for us. <laughs> oh god, there's a third one. 
There's a third color now, so there's now a green button. Pressing... We need to press both of these to escape. Oh. And we need a green to be gone. So we need... Like that, but we need the two buttons to be pressed as well. So this can't just be as simple as pushing these blocks up, can it? No, it's never that simple. Because if we did that, then we'd uh, not do quite. We can't do something like this, because then we can't push this box up. What I was hoping for was I was hoping that we could have one of these boxes on the button and then have a, another box here. So what if we try activating the light box first? I don't think it matters which box we use too much. Oh, but light is annoying for us right now. Now what if we come around and we push this down? Or even better, we don't push it down yet. Now we can come around. Push that up. And then really carefully, somehow... Maybe not push that up yet? Yeah, probably come from the other direction. Push that up, push this down, and that opens this for us. Awesome. Okay, here. So here we've got to basically push that button, and we've got to make sure our chain is kept. I think we got to get in the wall at least. Yeah, so we've got to get rid of the ball, definitely. To get rid of the ball, we would most likely need to... If we take this box, we can push it up. And most likely make a move... Then we want to make a move where the ball is... Up. And then we can get rid of it, so... What? Coming at this from the wrong angle, definitely. Like this, but we want to get the box to go. Okay, plan B. We can't get that to work, so if we do this, we can get rid of the ball that way. But then the ball's just stuck, it's the problem. Alright, this ball is stuck down there. So what if we get this going the opposite way? We can't get it going the offset way, because we've got a... This is interesting. Okay, another solution. We come on here. We basically just want to make a move that pushes it down. There's absolutely no chance I can come and do this right. Uh, God. I don't know what this puzzle is trying to teach us as well, if anything. I generally have the mindset that games are trying to teach you, or puzzle games are trying to teach you something in each level. Or it's like to lay in a force an idea in each level, because that's, you know, good puzzle design. Don't know what it would be here. Interesting. Do some more thinking. Okay. This is still pretty, uh... Wait, let me move this tab over.
so I've been under the assumption we got to make a move like this. Probably upwards, actually, if anything. So that we're facing up. Then we can't move right to make that move. So it's probably not going to be with us coming from the light. It's probably not going to be a move like this. It's probably going to be a move... Oh wait, doesn't this? Ah, uh, okay, so we use the click, and then instead of moving downwards or forwards, we're going to move backwards to break our ball. Okay, that makes sense. Now this box is stuck. <laughs> How do we get that back? How do we get that back? That box is now stuck. I don't like that. I like that we've... Okay, oh, now we don't have a chain either. Oh, okay, that's awesome. I'm a fly man. Stuck within the confines of another game. Okay, T. Oh, so this T forces us to push it all the way down. Unless we can push like that. That doesn't force us to push it down. Hope that solves the puzzle. Uh, now if we move that ball, does annoying things. That kind of just gets us back to where we were. Guys, welcome. We're all in a code of the game death loop. <laughs> um, I always set the puzzle. <laughs> uh, okay. This feels like the light move to make here, and then. Then it's just a matter of getting things back. So this needs to move right here, or left here, so it can be in this column. Then we're forced to make a move that we don't like. No chance that the power of friendship can solve this. That would be a new Twilight Sparkle play to me. Um... <laughs> can you tell I'm thinking... Already hard. I was like, never mind. That puzzle was so okay. I'm gonna stop counting my eggs before they hatch. Uh, how do we? I'm gonna take the button off. There's no way to make that move without pushing that off, is there? Uh, no. No chance it's something we do when we put it on the button. I think I'm going to have to give up. This puzzle is very difficult. I'm going to give this puzzle 10 more minutes, and then I'm going to come back to it. But stage 8, 9, and presumably 10, so uh, see y'all next week. <laughs>
What a great way to close a video.